Final Fantasy VI for the Super Nintendo, also known as Final Fantasy III. There's a long story behind that. So, random battle. I'm gonna go ahead and use... Yeah, I don't need to use care. I'll just fight. However, you can use magic. You can use your sword technique. The longer I let this build up, the longer... I mean, the stronger the attack will be. There we go. It's good enough for now, I guess. Let's go ahead and use Chainsaw. The tools are really useful. Up. Yeah. That was badass. And the Chainsaw. I know, those, were, those of you who were expecting blood, sorry, there's no blood in this game, it's Nintendo. Great. Okay, let's make our way into town. Hi there. Interesting. What's in here? This is the armor shop. You can tell by the little shield on the door. Well, let's see. Yeah, down there you can see all the party members I have. Actually, I'm not gonna buy anything right now. I'm just gonna walk around. Hey, look, we can get a chocobo here. What do you say we get one? Okay, here we go. Yet yeah, now they're using mode 7 where like, the screen will flip over like that, creating a 3D effect. Hey, look, what's this? Find out. People are gonna get mad. I cut the music off. Oh well. It's the opera house. Oh bummer. Fine. I didn't want to watch the opera anyway. Opera sucks. Let's go back up here. I'll show you some random battles. I'll show you how the fighting system works. Even though you already saw one, but yeah. Mind candy. Actually no. What Runic does is it absorbs magic. If anyone were to use a magic attack while you're using Runic, which all my Celius can use, then I end up actually healing myself. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll steal, because Locke, <laughs> get it, Locke, he's a thief. Use the auto crossbow, because it hits everyone. Alright, dead. Come on, guys, wake up. There we go. Use a crossbow again. Alright, I won! In my opinion, I have to say the graphics in this game easily rival Chrono Trigger. But, yeah, people were like, no, Chrono Trigger's much better. I don't know, look at the background, I mean, it's amazing. Actually, that kind of gives me an idea. You guys think I should play Chrono Trigger? Might do that in a few videos coming up. Well, not a few. I mean, like, in a couple videos coming up. A few from now, I might do that. Alright. Hey, alright. I learned sleep. But I should know how to sleep before that. So anyway, that's Final Fantasy VI, or three, whatever you like to call it. So, see you in the next game. The Nintendo... The original Nintendo. Alright, here we go. Classic. But false, why aren't you doing Super Metroid? Because everyone did Super Metroid. Well, I have to admit, I don't really care for the Metroid series too much, but this game, it's alright. <laughs> it was requested, so I'm gonna do it. Hey, it's a power-up. Now I can turn into a ball, see? Couldn't do that before. So why don't I like Metroid? Eh, I don't know. The whole object is, you just, you go around and 
You want to unlock other doors, kill the enemies as you go along, and basically just make your way to the end. Where's the end? Eh, yeah, that's spoiler if I told you. The thing I, that really gets to me is, like, you all unlock, like, extra missiles and stuff, and the only point of the missiles isn't to shoot enemies, it's only to unlock doors. I mean, what is that? But, eh, there's a lot of fans in the game, so I'm not gonna rip on it too much. Plus, I'm trying to do an LP of it right now, so that wouldn't be very good if I did that. We're gonna go here. The thing I like about this game is there's a lot more enemies to encounter than there are in Super Metroid. Like, right off the bat, I mean. I mean, look, right off the bat, I'm fighting all these enemies. In Super Metroid, you have to wait. You, you go entire rooms without even seeing any enemies. Oh, can't reach that. No, no. <laughs> yeah, in this game, when you get hit, it takes away from your energy. Kinda like in Halo, from what I know. But yeah, you want to kill enemies, make your way, get more energy, and basically just make your way to the end. See, by killing enemies, you get more energy. And as we all know, and for those who don't, I'm going to spoil it, Met uh, Samus, or Samus, however you want to pronounce it, like the person being right now, it's actually a girl in a suit. Yeah, everyone thought it was a guy back in the day, back when they first played this game. Once you beat it, it reveals that it's actually a girl. And she takes her helmet off. It's kind of a twist. I don't care too much about people who are like, hey, what? Because you're not used to that. Because, you know, the hero's always got to be a guy. But I do have to say, Samus is easily one of my favorite characters in the Smash Bros. games. Should I go down to the right? Or I could even go up. See, so there's so many choices in these games, you can easily get lost. Let's go down. Down, 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 down. Jeez, does this ever end? Hey, the door. Die. No. Okay, there. Sure could use another power up right about now. Oop. No. No. <laughs> oh, God, that was close. I'm just gonna haul ass out of here. No. No. <laughs> yep, I died. Ah, perfect timing, because that's the end of this video game thing. See you for the next game. Bye. Sparkster for the Sega Genesis. Well, what can I really say? Well, first of all, I never played any of the Sparkster games. There's three of them for the old systems, anyway. There's, uh. There. Yeah, cool intro. Anyway, so there's, uh, Sparkster for the Super Nintendo, which has nothing to do with the Genesis versions. There's two in the Genesis. There's, uh, Rocket Adventures, and it's this, which is just called Sparkster. It's actually Rocket Adventures 2. Even though none of the three games actually have anything to do with each other. I don't know, it's kind of confusing to explain. But that's what I've gathered, since I've n I'm not experienced with the Sparkster series at all. That's just what I've gathered from Wikipedia. So, yeah. Anyway, I've, so I've never played this before, so, I, like I said, I'm not going to be very good. I don't really know the object of the game too much. All I know is it's your basic platformer, kind of. Very good description, I know. Okay, let's see. So I can jump here. Ah, get away from me. Okay, so I can swing my sword at the guy. What does that do? Oh, wow. Oh, I see. So I can charge up my jet thing. Ah, okay. We. Oh, what's this? Well, it's kind of like Eggman. Like in Sonic. Ah! <laughs> can I attack it? Yes, I can. But, yeah, in the process, I took a hit. I think I'm doing it the right way. Yes, I am doing it the right way. Great. Now I can go this way. I thought it was a cutscene or something like that gonna happen. Alright. Blast off. Oh. No, you don't. No, another one. 
do like the music. Uh, yeah, it's got pretty good music so far. Hey, where'd I go? Oh. <laughs> Time for you to die, bud. Oh, I missed him. I won. And what happens now? Is he dead? Oh, okay, I guess he's not dead. Well, as much as I hate to do it, I've got to cut it here. It took a little too long in Final Fantasy. But yeah, if you guys want, I might end up doing a full Let's Play of this later on. So yeah, that was the end of this video, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.